Chef Buck here and today we're going to make some cauliflower cakes. Super tasty, healthy, and they're also beautiful. I wouldn't say they were dateable, but I mean there's some good looking cauliflower cakes. Yeah, <laughs> cats think so too. <laughs> but look at this cauliflower that I got grated up and I did this with a hand grater. A little dinky do hand grater. I'm not a fan of this. You know, if you've got a hand grater that's made for human hands, it'll be a lot easier. And I actually made some last week and I used the food processor to grate up the cauliflower, but it made the cauliflower too fine. It became overprocessed, like a doughy mash. And so those cauliflower cakes were really dense. They were almost the density of this, which is very dense. So grating the cauliflower by hand actually made for lighter, fluffier, more enthralling and invigorating, uplifting cauliflower cakes. I was very passionate. But it's a super simple recipe. We're just gonna throw a bunch of stuff in a pot and boom, like I said, I've already got it sort of started in this pot. So we're going to add, boom, two eggs. We needed a wide lens for you to truly appreciate that. So we're just gonna crack our eggs in here, boom. Just going to mix our eggs up in here. Get it all smashed up and whisked around. And now we're gonna add a whole heap of ingredients. And all this stuff is finely chopped because we want it to kind of all meld together into a fancy pants looking dish. And we want it to stick together. So you don't want any huge, big, gargantuan pieces. I got a couple of different colored bell peppers here. You know, you can just use one color, but use a yellow or an orange or a red because we've already got green ingredients. So having those different colors are gonna make your cakes a lot prettier. I got a little bit of heat here, some freshly diced dinky do pieces of jalapeno. And then I got a couple of green onions and I've chopped up the bottoms here pretty fine and I'm gonna save the tops for a garnish. And I got two cloves of garlic, but put as much garlic as you like in here or don't put any garlic. You don't have to. I don't own stock in garlic. I'm not trying to push it on you. As you can see, it's mostly cauliflower. So cauliflower needs help in the flavor department. So go ahead and be heavy on the seasoning and use whatever kind you like. I got some black pepper. I got some Italian seasoning here, a little garlic powder, some ginger powder, and I got a little bit of chili powder here. And this is turmeric. Use whatever kind of seasoning you like, but I do recommend that you use turmeric because it adds a really nice color. So now we'll get this all nice and mixed up. Now those eggs are really gonna help these cakes stick together, but for insurance, we're gonna add a little freshly grated cheese. And I just got a little Colby Jack cheese here and a little bit of Monterey Jack. And I'm probably gonna put in, I don't know, between a quarter cup and a half a cup, whatever you like. But just that little bit of cheese is gonna add some creaminess and it's gonna help to solidify our cakes together a little better. And look, see how that turmeric adds such a nice color? Now I got me a little baking sheet here and I got me some parchment paper and you want to use parchment paper. Don't want your cauliflower to stick to the pan. So I'm going to get, I don't know, what kind of ball is this? This is like a racquetball. That's a racquetball size. But it doesn't stick together very well. I mean this is a very crumbly ball. So it's kind of a slight pain in the butt. Make a patty out of this. So we'll just take the ball, we'll kind of smash it on one side and boom kind of almost make a dome. And then we'll smash it out. And then we'll kind of form it into a circle with our hands. Just like this here. Like uh, Michelangelo, who was a guy I went to art school with. <laughs> this is how he would have done it. And it doesn't look like it would stick together, but once it bakes, it'll form a nice patty and it will be nice and solidified. I went to school with another sculptor his name was Rodan, and uh, later on he got in a huge tiff with uh, Godzilla. Oof. So I got my racquetball sort of size, flat on one side, boom, dome of cauliflower, de-dome it, push it down into a patty, circle it, circle the wagons, boom, boom, patty, patty. So just go around and clean up your patties, you know, take the loose pieces and push them into your patties. You know, so that you're not wasting any of your cauliflower. And these things here are really just shoved together on a wing and a prayer. Look how pretty those are. All ready to go. I got all the loosey-goosey pieces kind of shoved into the patties. You know, and if I tried to pick these up, 
couldn't do it. They crumble right apart, just like all the dreams I had when I was younger. We'll just slide them in the oven. Boom. We'll let them bake away. We'll check on a wee little bit. Alrighty. So there we have it. Man, look how perfecto those look. So they got a nice little bit of color on the bottom, but I can go ahead and plate them up and we can eat them while they're hot. Just serving these cakes on just a little bit of greens. It makes a nice filling meal and it's super easy. And if you're not doing a lot of other things for your meal, just a little bit of salad greens and this dressing right here, this adds a really nice flavor. Now this is just a quick sauce I'm throwing together. Boom, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise, my favorite food group. That's right, it's a food group in the South. So that's actually quite a little bit of mayonnaise, but it's never enough, so we'll do that much more. Then I got a little bit of lemon here. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel off some of my lemon peel here. Mince it up nice and fine. Got a little lemon zest to throw in there. Go ahead and throw a whole heap of lemon juice. Crush those guts. Like all the people that said they didn't believe in you. If you didn't have any fresh lemon, you could take like pickle juice or some jalapeno juice or any kind of pickling solution. And you could just add a little bit of that if you want to. We're gonna go ahead and throw a little bit of minced jalapeno in here too. Boom. Now let's go ahead and get it mixed up. We'll just whisk it up. Boom, boom, boom. Then go ahead and put your finger in there. Then put your finger in your mouth. And if your face does this, then you're all right. And if it doesn't do that, then you probably need more mayonnaise. Boom, so we put a little bit of sauce on there. And I like to put a little bit of smoked paprika, you know, because it adds a nice little bit of color. Then we've got our green onion tops that you can sprinkle on top of there. Of course, that's an awful lot of green, but we can remedy that with some little sliced cherry tomatoes. You know, or if you wanted to, you could get some sliced red pepper and uh, crisscross the top of there. Look how fantastico that looks. You ready to dive in, camera girl? Oh yeah. Now if you need to make an impressive meal for your uh, vegetarian hippie date, this might be the way to go. And I really like it with this sauce, but you don't have to put a sauce on here if you don't like. Mmm. Oh. That's a really great flavor because we put so many awesome ingredients in there. Give this recipe a try if you want to print it. Head on over to MyFoodChannel.com, you can print all our recipes there. Sign up for our mailing list, you know, and that way you'll never miss a Chef Buck and Camera Girl video. We appreciate you watching and subscribing, and we'll see you in the future.